Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader. This game is pretty awesome. It still looks good to this day. And uh, we have to be careful with the music. That's the only thing. We got the cantina playing right now, but it should be okay. I have the volume of the music at half and everything else at maximum. So it's not how you would normally play. It's, whoa, that was loud. Big explosions and Darth Vader breathing. Let's turn the volume down a little bit so I can actually think. So if you notice, I have a file here and I only have one bronze and two silver. I don't think this is my original file, but it is a recent file. Whenever I last played this game, we're going to actually name it Good Old Days, even though it says God and that's weird. Um, I don't want to name it Ace just in case that's a code. I don't think it is. I think the codes are in the passcodes section to make the Ace difficulty appear. But yeah, this game's tough, man. I was practicing just a little bit, and yeah, it's rough. The Death Star will soon be in firing range of Yavin Base. Destroy the large deflection towers on the surface, and the TIE Fighters defending the approach to the trench. Fly down the trench and fire your proton torpedoes when you're within range of the exhaust port. You got it, dude. You notice it said advanced lasers and advanced shields? I think I typed in the code like way back when and it saved on the memory card. But this was always cool how you could run around the hangar. Um, let's just go, go ahead and get the X-Wing. This first mission is not too bad. It's very nice. It gives you a feel for it. We're not going to show the training stuff because the training is just kind of like a time sink. And it's just to kind of familiarize with the controls. So, uh, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars happened. All right. Yeah, we got to mute this, unfortunately. I could whistle the tune for you. All right, that's enough of that. Rogue Squadron 2, Rogue Leader. It is a period of civil war. The Rebel Alliance is preparing a major attack against the evil empire. Launching from a hidden base on the fourth moon of Yavin, the Alliance forces hope to destroy the Death Star and armored space station with enough power to decimate an entire planet. Luke Skywalker in bold text and Wedge Antilles. Two young rebel recruits have joined the Alliance in a brave attempt to restore freedom to the galaxy. And well, isn't that so nice? Yes, Star Wars happened. I don't, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, that a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away with the ellipsis afterwards, and then how it just says, Star Wars. I always just, just said, like, oh, Star Wars happened, and that's it. And I thought it was hilarious that, like, you could basically just say Star Wars happened and not show anything else. But, yeah, here we go. Get ready. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 11 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Lock air spoils in attack position. Watch yourself. There's a lot of fire coming from the right side of that deflection tower. I copy, Red Leader. We've got to destroy those deflection towers. Red Leader, we've got you covered. I'm going after the towers. Cover me. All right, let's do it. Big switch, follow me. Draw that surface fire away from me. Yeah, so you could use the D-pad to, to give commands, which is really cool. Star Fox needs to do that. Great shot, Luke. Let's see what the first person looks like here. Slow down just a little bit. The controls are a little bit different from the N64, but it's actually better in the long run. Two more to go. 
One more to go. Sci-fi. Big shot. One more to go. Yeah, I see you. Okay, the radar is down there. It's a little bit weird. I'm coming for you, some might say. Base one. Keep half your group out of range for the next run. Prepare to move out of range for the next run. You got Squad it. Squad leaders, we've picked up a new group of signals. Enemy fighters coming your way. All right, here's where the true test is. Big switch, follow me. Help me with those fighters. Hold on, Luke. I'm on my way. Can we do it? So far, not so bad. I'm very bad at chasing ties, though. It's something I need to continue to practice. And I will be practicing some more, but I, I really wanted to jump into recording and... Get a feel for how this would go. I like when the computer says TIE Fighters, and it's just like, TIE oh, Fighters! Now, if you pay attention to the radar, there's lines on every dot. And the lines dictate whether the thing is below or above you, I think. Which is, uh, technology. But man, if it's not hard. Nice shot. Help me with those fighters. Hang on, I'm coming. I always just tell them to help me with the fighters, because... Why not? I think the why not answer is... You want to destroy as many as possible for the gold medal. Yeah, but these ties are basic ties. It's easy to get in behind them. You got a targeting computer here, which... There's a lot to be said about the targeting computer, but I'm gonna try to use it. Help me with those fighters. Come on, guys. Hold on, Luke. I suck, but I know you don't. Two more to go. Two more to go. One, One more, more to, to go. go. Don't lose them. Don't lose them. Come on. I lost them. Good shot. Oh, Luke. thank you, AI assistant. I don't know who that was. Was that Wedge? The horns are honking. Big switch. Let's close it up. As in close the X foils. Right with you, Luke. We'll stay back far enough to cover you. Um. Oh, don't look away from the screen, man. No, geez, now I'm not. Now I'm not into it. What the heck? Why did? Why did we go to the right? Watch. All right, no, we gotta focus, man. I clipped the right wall. Well, what good are you, Paul? Hurry up, Luke. Hey, man, I'm I'm going as fast as this thing will go. At some point, Ties and Darth Vader appear. In traditional, yeah, there we go, Death Star fashion. Come a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. I guess I should be destroying the guns. I don't know what the gold medal is if it's enemies destroyed, but there's, the, speaking of the targeting computer, there's something called targeting computer efficiency. And I think every time you use the targeting computer, that number goes down. The force is strong with this oh, one. Oh, chunky voice. With that you fat TIE awesome. fighter. Oh man, don't lose it out of the trench. I think that's a failure if you do that. Let's go, Darth. His computer's off. Luke, you switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm all right. Can you destroy him? I can't remember. You gotta be able to take him down, right? Go 
All right, Han, where where were you? The N64 showed the Falcon. Or is it Falcon? Is that the wall? I think I see the wall. No, don't target that, whatever that is. Where's, where's the hole, man? There it is. That's such a cool explosion noise. Plus, it visually looks neat. It reminds me of the 80s. That was only bronze? What did we do wrong? Enemies destroyed. See, that's why you don't want them to chase the TIE fighters for you. But look at the targeting computer efficiency. It's down to 86%. What did I do wrong? I think it's like how often you miss your shots while the targeting computer is up or something. And this is the mission where that's going to come into play. The convoy is moving from Yavin 4 to a new base on the planet Hoth. Rendezvous with a second convoy along the way and continue to the destination. All right. This mission I played just recently like four or five times and all five times went horribly. So I'm taking that as my practice and we're going to hope that I can chase TIE fighters better because that's the thing I gotta get better at. But it's a cool mission. That's all it is, is fighting TIE fighters, but it's in a space nebula and it's hard to see. Red leader here. Sensors don't show any sign of a second convoy. Looks like they ran into trouble. This is the frigate Redemption. We'll have to get through this debris before we can make the jump back into hyperspace. Luke, enemy fighters approaching from all directions. We're surrounded. I copy, Wedge. We've got to blast our way through. Go after those ties. You got it, Luke. Yep, I'm just always gonna tell them to go after the ties. Cause that helps me out. That was good, okay. I'm learning, like, where you gotta shoot, too, because obviously you always gotta shoot ahead of them a little bit, but that's easier said than done sometimes. Alright, keep on them. The transports are drawing heavy fire. Yeah, quit your crying. There we go, I took care of them and saved They're the transport. Shut up! Alright, the radar now. Remember the thing I said about the lines? Good. That was good. That was the best I've done so far. Orders, Engage those fighters. All right, you this next it, tie is below me, apparently. Now where? Okay, they got him. More ties incoming. We need something faster than these X-wings. Luke, what about those modified stunt fighters? Good thinking, Wedge. Let's give those A-wings a try. Dock with the frigate and switch craft. You got it, Luke. I'm docking with the frigate. Yeah, Wedge Antilles is the actual voice actor of Wedge Antilles from the movie. Um, I forget his name right now. But I think it's Bob Bergen again as Luke Skywalker. Just like in the N64 game. It sounds a lot like Bob Bergen if you've known anything else that he does. Like Doug Funny, um, Ren and Stimpy. A wing now. Pretty cool. The targeting computer will bring up cockpit mode. We'll do that when necessary. We don't want to waste it, but uh, it does help. Waiting your orders. Go after those ties. I'm on it. Yeah, I really don't know. I, I'm curious to look that up, but it sounds like Bob Bergen now, the more... We've lost a transport. Oh, man. I'm just getting started here. Friendly saves is still a thing in terms of getting medals. These... Whoa, jeez, almost crashed into that. We could use more support over I'm here. I'm trying. I'm blowing them up. I'm, if there's only like one or two seconds of pocket space where nothing's happening, man. All right. Loop around, go down, whoa. 
The TIE Fighters are all showing to be below my altitude. Which means I should just be able to loop around and go down and see them, right? But instead I just see debris everywhere. We're getting hit hard. I know, I'm trying! Wipe out their ties. Those are A-wings. No, those are X-wings. Once upon a time, I watched a long play of this, and man, that guy was targeting computer efficient. I don't know how you get that good at this. Well, there we go. See, the targeting computer helps. For spotting black ties against a black background. No more enemies on sensors. Good job, guys. We did it? Oh man, that was the best I've done so far. The, oh, thank God. We're almost out of this mess. If we can just make it through this nebula, we're all clear. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh yeah. We're, we're entering the nebula. Keep your eyes peeled. We're not out of the woods yet. Turn on your targeting computers to identify enemy targets. Pulling up my targeting computer. Enemy fighters approaching from the nebula. All right. Know how to use the targeting computer and the radar. And where to aim your shots. That's the only thing that's gonna Waiting get you order, out of Luke. here. Go after those ties. You got it, Luke. I say it as the truth, but I don't say it as something I've mastered. Ah! Quit moving around. That guy came in out of nowhere. Oh, wow, this this cannot be good for the targeting computer efficiency. But I need it though. I like the highlighted yellow, which might even be an advanced targeting computer Engage thing. Those fighters. You got it, Luke. I don't think the targeting computer. Hit hard. Oh, shut up with the crying. I don't think the targeting computer is this good at first. I think it's an upgrade. But like I said, I think the memory card has the code that gives you all the upgrades we saved. We're leaving the nebula. Good job, Red Squadron. All right, they got the last ones. No metal. See? What did I do wrong? Targeting computer efficiency, 0%. It needed to be 10%. Oh, man. Enemies destroyed for the first time was actually good. I could have gotten bronze. Shot accuracy, 6%. Like, this, this, is, this game is tough. I don't know. So we're not going to go for all golds, I think. But I want to at least play it decently enough. Like, that wasn't so bad. I, I accept that. Battle of Hoth will save for next time. Let's just roll with that for now. Thanks for watching, you guys. And take care.